Hi. Hi. I just have a green light and ring. You have a green light and ring. Okay, it's a hula hoop. <laughs> it is 12.35 on Friday the 6th of September and it is time for Today in My Bujo. So how are you? You may have heard just then that somebody went to big school. I am going to put in a quick um, thing from this morning when he was all ready to go. He was all dressed. He was all eager. And um, yeah, so. Say hi. Hi. It is 9am and we are just jumping on really, really quick to tell you that we are off to big school. Yeah. Yeah. I just dressed in my uniform. He's got his uniform on, he's got his bag ready, everything has got his name stamped in it. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, he's well excited. I'm like, oh, he's big and, school. And my bottle has my name. And his bottle has his name on it. Yeah, so we're really, really excited. So <laughs> I am just quickly, while we're, before we go, gonna come on and recommend um, Stamptastic. I don't know whether they, um, deliver to the US but here in the UK you can buy this little ink stamp from Stamptastic on the internet and they also send you a stamp on an acrylic block and can you see there it's got Daryl's name written in it and you had to put stamp and as long as you keep this in the little bag they reckon it will do you for a good few years and the ink is good for up to 50 washes. Now, a few people reckon it's probably just stays on ink, and it quite possibly it is. Um, it's just a little strip of ink, ideal for just a stamp. I have literally just stamped everything he's got on, including his bag, his waterproofs, and his wellies, in five seconds flat. So we are ready to go. We are excited. Yeah. He looks gorgeous and all grown up. Aren't you? You all grown up? Yeah. I'm not five yet. Not five yet, but nearly, aren't you? You're nearly five. Yeah. Yeah. Are you I ready don't... to go? Not yet. Not yet. Don't keep rubbing your mouth, you'll make it sore. So, let's do time in our boojo. No, I don't know if we've got time for today in my boojo. We'll do today in my boojo when we get back, okay? Okay. And we'll insert this sort of first thing after we do the hello bit, okay? Yeah. Yeah, all right then. So we're off to school now, put and your up. yeah, put your thumbs up. Don't forget all that. Well, we can do all that later in today, in my bujo. Okay. Mm. So yeah, we're off. We'll be back a bit later on to let you know how we got on, cause he's going to fix school. Yeah. <laughs> cause I'm gonna fix this whole world of that. Beach. Look up at the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that big giant bad super drunk. What big giant? The big giant has Batman as first joy. Oh, is he? Right, okay. And I want a super high and I'll crush Batman away. So, yes, right. We're off now and we will see you later on. Okay? So, bye! bye. Isn't that cute? <laughs> he was so excited. I was so excited. We were both excited. He had a good, he was there for 90 minutes. He had a good time. Um, we sat in the classroom. We were not involved. They had to put their waterproofs on by themselves and go outside. Loads and loads of fun. He really, really enjoyed it. So, yeah. I'm thinking of cutting my hair. I don't know whether, and if you saw my Instagram post a couple of days ago, my hair's getting really heavy and my neck aches and my head aches. This happens every couple of years. I end up getting it to just long enough where I can tie it all up with itself and then I get pissed off with it because it's so heavy and I end up with headaches so I end up cutting it to about you know about there because <laughs> it's light and then it moves when I move my head I love having long dreads I really do but the sheer weight is really starting to tell on me so yeah I've had a neck ache for a couple of days anyway let's get on I did my night care when I went to bed last night so all of a sudden got really dark and put light on. Light out! <laughs> Sorry, the camera will stop jiggling. The camera's attached to the lamp, which is standing behind my desk, so that's why I have to lean forward to do it. And then, of course, it, it jiggles. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I did all of that. Uh, this is where we got up to. So... 
I need to do... I didn't do yesterday's sleep. Okay, why didn't I do that? Bad sleep last night. So from about 2.15 until 7.45 that night. It's not very long. But there you go. And it wasn't very good either. School was a big success. He really enjoyed it. Um, he looks so grown up this morning. I was just like, wow. He's so eager for Monday, and I am as well, because it's just, it's so good, and he needs to go. You know, he's eager and ready and all of that lot. Yes, I did sweep. I swept yesterday because I cut Daryl's hair in the kitchen. I didn't do the work tops because they were pretty much tidy, but I did sweep. So that's cool. What have I got to do today? Clean the microwave. That's the only thing in today. That's all right there. King of the Rig Sprid is ready and waiting for next weekend. Um, I've just got these two matches to put in for that. And then we'll find out who the winner's going to be. I did set up the weekend last night and I journaled some more in that pen I received this this morning this is absolutely I'm like oh Doctor Who postcard you may not know that I'm a big fan of Doctor Who um and then I got this and look at the stamp it's a TARDIS stamp I'm like that is so cool do you know I haven't even read it my name is Titania and I live in the beautiful German town of Brenner near the North Sea. I live here with my family and I work as a physiotherapist. I like this. She put like a, she's banner stamped it with the post crossings I do. That's kind of cool. It took a while to get here. She posted it on the 30th, or she wrote it on the 30th. Bremen. I'm sure I've been to Bremen. Oh, I might not have been. Can't remember. So, yeah, a TARDIS stamp, guys, on a Doctor Who boat's gone. How freaking cool is that? I'm like... I think I'm going to skip the next pen because it is very, very, very faint, if I recall. And quite frankly, I don't see why everybody should have to strain to see what they're doing. Okay, now, yes, I also realised, when was it the i did the weather on that day i realized i hadn't done the weather after i'd finished so i put in and i hadn't done the word either so it's kind of right in the middle of my journaling but that's going to happen sometimes because i'm forgetful as fuck so today i have done day face cream i am wearing makeup for the first time in christ knows how long might need to dust them again they're sort of it's getting the deck's getting like clumpy when you shuffle it that was my fault it did not jump and then when you try and spread it out it like goes in clumps which is really fucking annoying not like my other deck where i can just slide if i try and slide this it just it goes like that it pisses me right off Three of blades. This is very apt. <laughs> um, this is talking about heartbreak. Um, I've had a shit year. If you're new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> um, my fiance died in June and three days ago, I kicked one of my kids out. I'm going to put this in fresh so it can get cold. Okay. Um, it, it, I say kids, I mean, he's, you know, 22. Because um, he's got an attitude and it, it was a big row and he screamed in my face. My youngest there was standing right behind me and I'm not prepared for that. Not prepared for him to have to see that. It's been a bad year. It really has. Um... things are hard 
it's hard to cope sometimes. Yes, baby. I wanted a yogurt. Go on then. I got this one. I guess I need to now look at what I could learn from what has happened. Um, I don't think this is talking about Stuart, my fiance. I think this is talking about what happened a couple of days ago. Um, you know, I need to look at it and think, well, what can I now learn from, from this experience? And oddly enough, I just picked out the next pen in the thing, and that's the pen I use for Alex colour coding. I've put things have been shit and it hurts. What can I learn from what's happened? Um, I did those last night. Last night's sleep was even worse than the night before because we had to get up for school. That was about half past two until seven. Oh, that was hard. That was my own fault. I got distracted trying to catch up with the rest of manifest and I was gonna I was gonna do it and then I was like you know what it's one more app you can watch it tomorrow night it's not like you're going anywhere pencil written there saying September should start here but from what I understand you know he's hunting for a flat he's okay My other children are all convinced that this is what he needs, so we'll have to wait and see, won't we? At least I know where he is, you know, and if he's all right. And I know they would contact me if something happened to him. I'm not vain enough to think he would watch my channel just to want to see me because he's not like that. I cleaned the loo this morning. And then we rushed off to school, so I haven't really done much else. What? Okay. Okay, so we bought a cap at school today. So he's now got school cap. Um, and we stamped his name on his clothes. Up the races. Yes. Open you can open those. I can't. Please don't shout at me. You are. Yes, you are the I'm help. busy. I'm busy. Go and do it yourself. Go on, please. You can do it. Look, I'll do it with you. Okay. So lift up that bit. That's all you've got to do is just take your time with it. Right, I'm going to just quickly do the weather and then I'm going to go and grab myself some lunch and I will come back and do the word a bit later on. That's pretty much it. I am up to date. I am ready to go. Um, I will stick that in when I'm sure I haven't got another one turning up that needs to go in this page. Um, but yeah, doing well, doing well. Chunk check. <laughs> I can't, I can't wait to see what this is going to be like in 20 days' time when I've got a few more postcards and stuff stuck in there. But I also need to get printing up because I can send six postcard, post crossings, postcards now. So I'm gonna have a go at doing the whole um, making my own. I brought. I'm going to use that to stamp the the number as well. I like that idea. Um, what's that? My little stars. I've got somewhere Where are they? these to make it look like a postcard. Yeah. I've, so I won't bother putting place your stamp here because I'm just going to stick a stamp on there. Um, a postage stamp but I will use the postcard along the top one and um, I won't put send with sent with love from me to you because it's post crossing but I think I've got somewhere a hand made you know handmade type stamp I need to have a dig around in the drawer and see if I can find it it's, everything is very precariously placed in there let's have a look 
in my drawer of stamps. I'm sure I've got something that's all about handmade. I need to move all my stamps out of those drawers because um, oh, these are all my number ones, aren't they? Because um, I don't get to them. I don't use them. So I've got these beautiful camera stamps there and I don't use those either because they're shut away in a freaking drawer. I don't use any of these because they're all shut away and I can't get to them. I'm sure I had one that was purely, you know, handmade. Again, that one says with love and I don't really want that. Because I stamped it on the back of something. I said, Wendy, I'm sure I did. Oh, well, I'm going to have to hunt then, aren't I? I'm bloody annoyed about that. If I can't find it. Don't you just hate when that happens? When you're convinced you've got something and then you can't actually freaking find it? It's so frustrating when you know you've got something and you can't freaking find it. I'm going to go through all my slaps again and see if I can find it because it's got to be here somewhere. I'm wondering if it's in there with some dies. I've got one of these dough craft um, die holders but it's shit. And I'm wondering if it's with a die set. It's crap the dice don't stick to it very well. Made this card for you from the craft room. Oh, from the kit handmade with love. Made with love. Made by me. Made just for you. Happy mail. See, I knew I freaking had that. I've got a die set with it. That's why I couldn't find it. That's what I was looking for. Happy now. I knew I had one. That was really starting to wind me up. Got it had a die set. So there we go. I can now stamp shit all over it. I think I'll probably go with I made this card for you or just for you with the butterfly and then a post box one there because I don't want to put made with love because that's kind of weird you know quite like the idea of that one so I have to put these away awesome now I can tidy up <laughs> So I have got an especially for you there on this one that Wendy sent me. And greetings from on that one. Just for you. A warm hello. That's always good. Little butterflies. phone is buzzing. Ambush is messaging me. I will answer you in a moment. Yes, I need a better system than them all shoved in the drawer, making a mess. But I'm definitely keeping out that one and that one. That is my lawn fawn set that can go in there. So I've got loads of um, letter stamps as well that I haven't yet used, you know. I've got these ones that I bought and then I've also got these ones that I chased for fucking ages. These are Stampin' Up! ones and I love these. Um, I saw Ali Brown I think was using these and I was like oh, I want them so I was like yes and I think there's actually two sets in here. Yeah there's loads, there's loads of lettering stamps in here. I've got several sets. This has become my lettering. Um, one. I could, put, I could put that one in there as well, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I was a bit bummed that that one wouldn't fit in there and I couldn't figure out how to cut it. I might cut it in half actually to stick it in. 
I don't know how many more sets I get in here. Oh, I get a couple. I've got some room. This might just become my lettering. Lettering set. What, Daryl? I'm gonna watch the Redstone Train back into my world. Oh, are you? Okay then. I reckon I cut it off of the, yeah see I could just go straight across there couldn't I shall I tempt it shall I risk it hang on I've got to turn the oven off this one lunch I don't know whether to just risk cutting this might be the way not to do it kids it worked you watch they won't all fit in there now Gonna, is it? It's gonna be too much. Oh, wank. It has closed. No word of a lie, they are all in there. This is not going back in that drawer. This I want out where I can get hold of it so that I can use it. So I can now get rid of that. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's actually given me a bit more room in that drawer now, which is cool. So that can go like that. I've just now got to find room for this to go in next to all my other crap. I've got inks there that have fallen over. I want all my lettering stamps together so that's quite awesome that they're all there I'm gonna make a little envelope to stick those into because I don't think I've got one I have but they're not all gonna fit I'll have to cut them I've got these adorable little envelopes that somebody sent me that's what some of my lawn fawn um, dies are in off <laughs> oh god oh this is all good fun isn't it I'm glad I found my other little stamping block I need more stamping blocks but I've got these lovely roller ones that Margaret Ann gave me and they're fab stay there okay all right we're getting there put me bin back now <laughs> oh man this is this is ah! just drop me bin <laughs> <laughs> I will see you later on in the evening edition. <laughs>
September, October, November and December. I need to make a new book to get me through October, November and December in this size. <laughs> um, I may do... It's been a really good day actually so we're going to jump right up there. I may do um, some videos this weekend. I was thinking possibly live but um, my friend Wendy has her first live tomorrow night so I will be there for that. Oh pain. Pain is up a little bit but then you know when you're sitting on the floor for a couple of hours at school while you're run from like a screaming banshee outside <laughs> he loved it he had such a great day right yesterday's steps were 13 one five four just five point four miles right today chores wise I have done the loo, I did the bath mats, something else I want to do is get on, I then washed said bath mats, I tidied my office, I want to get on with my monthly tasks this weekend as well, just cleaned the microwave, dishwasher's been on and I've done the worktops and I've swept the floor, the only thing I have not done is Daryl's table. I might do that in a minute. Um, yeah, I've um, tidied up upstairs, stripped the bed off up there and washed it and remade it, so I've now got a clean spare bed. Um, I cleaned the bathroom yesterday, yeah. But I want to get some of this done. I need to clean the windows because that's not been done for about three months and they're filthy again. I need to clean the... I've got a glass kitchen door, so that needs to be cleaned. Um... I need to clean the outside of the kitchen cupboards. I need to do the outside of the windows at some point. I bought a thing to do it. I need to clean my fridge. I need to go around dust the cobwebs. I need to do the door frames and I need to clean the oven. Uh, that's the only one that I might not get done. But the rest of it I'm determined to get done this weekend or, you know, make a start on it this weekend anyway. Right, we are up to date. I have set up the races for this weekend for my Fitbit group and we are up to here so oh this if anybody's a I found this in my bathtub and I've literally just stuck it in with some center it is a dragonfly wing um, I did not find the rest of the dragonfly I'm assuming the poor thing was injured I don't I don't know what happened to the rest of it but it's it was in amazing condition which is why i picked it up Isn't that amazing look at it so yeah i don't know what happened to the owner of the wing but god knows so yes um it's the first time i've used this i love this stamp dearly d i watch her she's an australian lady and um I'd say Australian, she might be from um, Thingy. She has an Australian accent. I'm really sorry if she's not Australian and she's from um, New Zealand. I, I don't know. She might be. I don't know. Um, but she uses this stuff and I love it. Absolutely love it. And I bought it and haven't gotten around to using it because I haven't really done stamping in my journals much. So that's something I need to change. Um, I found another lettering set. And now the, the thing won't close. <laughs> so, um, yeah. What I need to do... This was the set that... This came from... Oh, Kelly Stamps. This is the Lara Alpha set. Let's put that there so you can see it. So that was what did the stamping there. This was a set I bought. Then there's a the set that Joe Ling bought me. And then there's a couple more sets in here. And then there's the actual stamp. Stamp as anonymous set. But it, yeah, it, it, it won't close with them all in here. So I'm going to 
make a case. Zip, a zipper case. I've got a zip. Um, it's just a question of actually sitting down and sewing it, which I want to do that at some point. So yeah, so I did this today. It's a dowel standing outside the school gates. Doesn't he look so cute? The four. Uh, for the past year, year and a half, he's been telling people that he will be going to big school when he's nearly five. He's five in November. And um, this morning I got up and I went to wake him up and the first thing he said to me when he opened his eyes was, am I five now? And I said, no, and he looked so disappointed. <laughs> and when I was searching for um, some stuff to use and that fell out, I was like, I've got to use it because that's just so funny, you know? That's why that's there. Um, this came in a set um, as a freebie with something that I'd apparently ordered. I have no recollection of ordering this uh, this uh, set, but yeah, I had a set of stuff done. These little stickers were in there. This is a camera thing that I bought on Ali. This was something else I got. This These all came from the same one. So yeah, and then I stamped first day. So yeah. So I'm going to use the new green pen to journal a little bit and um, no not that one, new green ink in the new pink pen, um, the noodler's ink and uh, let's have a look and see what we think of it in the Tomo River paper. Love, love, love it. This is the teal version of that blue that I like that's in my other mini pen. Um, where is it? That one. So I now basically have... I used my Trisby. I now basically have three mini pens and I love the ink in all of them. <laughs> and um i've been it's been recommended to me that i also get oh shit what color was it is it amy amy did you recognize recommend it well michelle says black swan in australian roses and i'm like oh that sounds really really good and amy didn't say it on comment so she must have said it in chat bugger which means i've got to find it now dragon's blood hmm does anybody fancy doing an ink swap if we can get some sample bottles you know because i've got the lexington gray and this color um i would even do some of my my other ink even the one that I love, that one I would, I, I, I could do. Um, it only has to be what a mil, couple of mil. I, I, if I can get some little sample bottles or something. Or has anybody got any sample bottles? We want to set up an ink swap. I've done a postcard swap. You fancy an ink swap? Let me know. You don't have to let me know down below. Let me know in private if you don't want to shout out to the entire group. Don't want to share that much ink. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying some of these new inks. I mean, Amy, if you're up for a swap, Michelle, you know, if you're up for a oh, sorry, I've just kicked the lamp. If um, either of you two are up for swapping these two inks that you've recommended to me, I'll give you a bit of Lexington Grey or the whatever the hell you call that one. I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to call it Squeegee. I know it's not squeegee. It's um squeegee, squeegee, I don't know. It's it's that one. Hang on, let me put you in focus. Get there. Hang on, hang on. That one. That's the that's the color of it. But it writes a lot darker than that. It's got a catfish on the front. So I've got that and I've got um, Lexington Great in the Noodlers, but I also have, you know, 
the Iroshizuku, the two uh, Monteverdi, and even even my soft snow of O'Hara or O'Shara or whatever the fuck it's called, the one that I really like. I would be willing to do a little swap with people. I can measure it out. I've got my syringes. Let me know, guys. Let me know if you're up for it. Okay. Um, right, I'm going to leave it there. I've done everything I need to do. I'm going to go and watch the last episode of Manifest because I was too bloody tired to stay up and watch it last night and I really, really, really want to watch it. So, yeah. Um, hey, you know, the usual sort of stuff. Thank you so much for um, hanging around, putting up with my waffle earlier on today while I was hunting for stamps. That was nuts. Um, yeah, I need to do that this uh, this weekend. So let's put that in my list of to-dos and personal. Six post crossing postcards. I feel an urge to do a live, but I don't know when I could do one. Let's say Wendy's going live tomorrow evening. Not, a, not necessarily even a journal with me, you know. Just well, I need to set up next week. Just a live, just a sitting gossip. But I think Saturday and Sunday are both taken up, aren't they? So yeah. Oh well. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Don't forget the kisses. Daryl loves the kisses. If you click the book here in the corner, you will be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that appears down there somewhere and YouTube is in a good mood, you will be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. And I appreciate every single one of you because you guys leave me comments. You guys are the reason I'm still doing this, actually. Because I think I would have given up if it wasn't for that. You guys keep commenting. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go. So have a good one and I will see you in Saturday's edition of Today in My Bujo. Take it easy guys. <laughs>